Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Certainly some good tips to keep in mind there. I know many people are itching to get out and do some hiking, but you don't want to disturb a bear that might be waking up. No, and the other thing is with the mud, it's been so dry, I think things will be in good shape earlier than average as we move along here. And the grass too, everything's turning green. How about this picture in from Pat McKenna in North Hero? The water looking pretty good. They're still cold though in the low 40s and in the distance can see some green up going on. Almost looks like there's some room for a boat there on the right side of the screen. Keep in touch, Pat, when it gets warmer here this summer. We have temperatures right now 70 in Plattsburgh. It is cooler south and east, 58 in Lebanon, 55 in Bennington. So a little dose of reality in those areas. Still 62 in Messina. We will cool off going through the next few days, but it's a mostly dry week ahead. So if you're looking on a weather app or something looking forward, uh, drops of rain, it just doesn't really add up as we go forward. So yeah, there's sprinkled chances, but uh, no major rainfall in the forecast. In fact, a lot of this rain here south of Watertown, it shows up really well on radar, but the beam is thousands of feet in the sky. So with all this dry air down at the ground, even that having some trouble getting to the ground, saw reports in southern New England that it's not really raining that much. But the clouds are with us, a couple of drops from time to time, and I think that's the plan for tomorrow. Could be a break of sunshine first thing, but the clouds will fill back in quickly. We'll keep the sprinkle chance in there through tomorrow. I think Tuesday, though, looks brighter now than it did yesterday. So Tuesday, we'll just say a mix of sun and clouds, totally dry on Tuesday. And then for Wednesday, the clouds are back and there's a chance for a shower, but again, still not adding up to much and just illustrating that as we have been for the last few days. Lots of zeros on the rainfall map all the way through to uh, Thursday at 2 a.m. But look what happens at the end of the week. We cool off into the 60s, at least in the Champlain Valley, but there's a storm that forms Thursday into Friday. So of the whole week, I think Thursday has the best chance for some rain showers, mostly over New York. It looks right now, maybe down into southern Vermont. But as the low gets going south of us, look at the colors change on the map. Eight o'clock Friday morning, we're seeing pinks and blues in the mountains of New York, Vermont and New Hampshire. There could be some accumulating snow on Friday in areas to our south, especially Massachusetts and Connecticut, but we'll have to watch that northern edge. It might make it up into Vermont on Friday, so we will watch it. Tonight we have temperatures in the 40s with a lot of clouds, and then tomorrow in a lot of cases, 10 degrees cooler, so noticeably cooler, still above average for this time of year, 64 in Messina, Malone at 62, and again, southern Vermont, southern New Hampshire, the coolest part of the region where the clouds are at their thickest. So the nice day for the next few will be Tuesday with more sunshine. Clouds are back Wednesday, Thursday, and again, that end of week storm we need to watch. It looks a little interesting. Every time a weather person says that, pay attention. So uh, we'll watch it, and then next weekend looks really good. Low 60s with sun, Liz. Thank you.